I know you're gonna dig this. back to the channel and today we're in the shop we're working on my 22 challenger rt it's a 57 and we're going to be working on the airbox and uh putting some hellcat parts on it let's take a look okay i already took the uh air snorkel off not a big deal loosen the screws and take the airbox lid off air filter and you can see the stock box it actually flows pretty good um and we're going to leave this alone because the problem is not with the uh the box itself although a hellcat uh box would uh make it flow a little better we're gonna leave that alone for today and today we're gonna talk about the lid i'm gonna take it over to this other lid and we'll compare them okay so we have a hellcat srt lid sitting right next to the stock lid and at first they look about the same you wouldn't think there's a problem you go flip this over and you go what is that well that is Apparently a charcoal filter and you might think I know what to do we'll just knock that thing right out well it says right on it it's not serviceable there's no replacement parts so if that fails uh, your engine's gonna have a bad day but worse yet look inside see that honeycomb that's not gonna flow very well either and I did look at my 2014 and it's built the same way without the charcoal but it has that honeycomb on the lid this one's nice and smooth, should flow a lot better. And the diameter is just a little bit bigger. Hopefully the hose will slip over. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to measure and cut the end off so, this, so it'll be the same length and we'll swap the lids out. That way we can leave the old lid the same, that way we can put it back to stock when we're not racing it. And here's the part number. And it was $56, and I got to say, this uh, Steve White's Parts, I, somebody on one of the forums mentioned them. These guys got a really good website, make it really easy to find the parts. And this, I believe, came off of a 2018 Hellcat. There's not too many different part numbers uh, available. That's the one I bought, got it right away, and it seems like it's going to flow a lot better. Okay, so the stock RT intake is about 3.9 inches, and this one's significantly more, about four and a third, four and a quarter, so a little bit bigger, but definitely going to have to trim it down to fit. Also, if you're wondering, this port is not opened up and it's not needed. We don't have it on this one. And that's not a problem. This one we're going to end up covering up with a snorkel. It's going to get cut probably in the middle. And we'll trim it down and it won't be a problem either. So using calipers, straight edge, a square, and measuring just a couple times. And I put some painter's tape around where I want to make the cut. I want to leave all the tape intact. Maybe start out with a little bit long. And we're going to go ahead and use a porter band. And we're going to cut the piece off and see if it fits. Okay, so we trimmed it to fit. Now the real question is, will the snorkel go on? And I deburred it, and I think it's gonna be a pretty tight fit. Yeah, it's gonna be really tough. That's a bit of a struggle to get the snorkel over. Um, so I decided to mount it to the car, so at least it's holding it still, and loosen the clamp. As far as you can get it and I've got a pick to help pull it across and I'll just keep after it okay not gonna lie that was a real struggle I did use a little bit of Dawn dish soap to 
lube up the rubber piece and I just basically sat down, put this between my knees and just struggled. I would have showed you, but I don't have a cameraman. It's just me today and it's on there and reach inside, make sure that's seated really well before you put it on the car. You certainly don't want that popping off and I have to put the clamp back on. There you have it. Looks stock. It's going to breathe a lot better. Will it help? I don't know. It'll help my OCD. <laughs> yeah, I like it. So that was pretty easy. Uh, part number will be in the description. And it does fit. And I think later on we'll get the lower air box because then I get the snorkel to uh, bring it out the front. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.